This is a massive creature, standing up to 1,8 meters high at the shoulder, with males weighing up to more than two tons. The white rhino is distinguished from the black rhino by its broader muzzle and wide lips. Here is a female with her calf typically at her foot. Cows are ferociously protective of the young and will charge to protect them. The mature bulls tend to be solitary and territorial, marking out their territory with their feces. When meeting submissive neighbors at their boundaries, they rub horns amicably. Fights usually occur over territorial disputes and females. Rhinos have developed an extraordinary thick skin to provide protection from lethal horn sparring. Rhinos need grassland to survive. They are heavy grazers. Combined with water, they prefer a flat habitat and plenty of cover for protection. They spend 50% of the day grazing on fresh grass and drink water in the afternoon and night. As you can see, they also eat soil for its minerals. These rhinos are mud bathing to provide protection from ticks and other parasites and to keep their skin cool in the sweltering tropical heat of Kruger National Park. You will notice that the female's horns are shorter than the bull's. Rhinos can live to a venerable 40 to 45 years. They've been heavily poached throughout history, mainly for their horns. And conservation programs and patrolling operations have been very instrumental in protecting them in the second half of the 20th century from near extinction in southern Africa. Today, there are several thousand white rhinos in Kruger National Park and Umfolozi Kluwe, and their numbers are increasing. The other cat of the big five, the leopard's distinguishing black spots are grouped in clusters of rosettes, unlike the cheetah's jewel spots. Adaptable and resilient, leopards are able to survive in a wide range of varying habitats and live right across South Africa. Even not far from urban areas and in and around farmland as well as arid zones. This leopard, filmed in the Kruger National Park, has taken its prey high into a marula tree to eat it without being harassed by scavengers. They eat and hunt anything, from small rodents to larger antelope, reptiles, fish, primates and birds, depending on the habitat. Interestingly for a cat, they also eat fruit. They hunt principally at night, but during daytime too, especially where good cover is afforded, by stalking to within 10 meters of the prey, followed by a short chase and a pounce to kill, delivered by a bite to the skull, neck or throat. The leopard is a solitary cat, unlike the lion. Both sexes mark out a territory with urine. The male's territory overlaps the female territories, allowing him privileged access to the females for mating and vice versa, the female's access to the male's food. These are African buffalo, the fourth of the big five. Much like thick-set, heavily built cattle in appearance, buffalo have characteristic horns. Thick, wrinkled bosses across the forehead, from which the horns protrude sideways and downwards, curving upwards to the tips. These are large, bulky animals that need to eat a lot, almost 20 kilograms per day of protein-rich grasses, preferably, and other greenery. Buffalo are sensitive to heat and need plenty of water. Here they are enjoying a watering hole, drinking and wallowing to cool off in the afternoon heat. They often need a drink twice a day and need habitats that have plenty of rainfall. As well as the cooling effect, wallowing is also part of the buffalo's social activity, a way of spending